Episode 5, move forward. The train and also our hearts. Nobody is reacting. Oh, because they're all sleeping. Duh. Are they having sweet dreams or terrible nightmares? Yeah. He fused with the train. You have to like cut off the front car. <laughs> How do you kill this thing? <laughs> That's true, he was sort of there all along, right? That was his working theory. It came true. Nice. I don't remember him talking very often about like helping people, although I guess it's all in the name of being worshipped. This title keeps getting more and more extravagant. Move forward. I don't understand how you fight this thing, honestly. Yeah, this all happened really fast. And it seems sort of futile to like cut these things down. They're just sort of growing at an incredible rate. Right, exactly. You gotta get to the source somehow. But it's a train, so <laughs> I don't know how you fight it. Where is he right now? Is this like physical space or some weird spiritual space? There you go. Nezuko taking an interest. She's doing this with her, her nails. <laughs> God, this is one of those annoying boss battles where, like, you have to fight the underlings while you're fighting the main boss. And they keep respawning. I always hated those. Oh, damn, that was an entrance. Holy crap. But wait, is, is he doing this consciously? That's pretty badass. And he keeps going. <laughs> nice. There you go. So, no, he was not doing it consciously. Still was awesome. Is that the first time any one of the characters has seen him in action? Or seen him do those attacks? Now only Nezuko knows, but I guess if there's anyone he was trying to impress, it would be her. Yeah, Rengoku's the real key. That could shift the tides. We're stuck, yeah. Totally stuck. Rescue missions are also the worst. This is the two worst kinds of fights at the same time. There he is. As bright and cheerful as ever. It's tough, you can't prepare for everything. They did not see that sleep spell coming. Oh my god! <laughs> he felt that one. Speaking of shifting the tides. Yes, you were. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> and you each protect one. Oh, I see. I see. That is a great plan. Is a train. Okay. Just coming in and kicking ass and taking charge. It feels so amazing. <laughs> just have this, have this guy here. It's just different. We've never had this before. He's just in a totally different league. Yeah. This is what we could be. It's okay to be dazzled. Like we're all a little dazzled by Rengoku. So now we're unstuck. There he is. <laughs> Just follow the yelling, cursing. This is what we could be, Inosuke. Okay, that's useful. Alternatively, couldn't they like move some of the passengers to one car to make it easier to defend them? It's such a great concept. It's so cool how they make this train feel so big and so dynamic and engaging. Back to back, Tanjiro and Inosuke. <laughs> Damn, why is that so cool? Some great simple line reading. Inosuke's been waiting for a chance to settle the score of this train. <laughs> Whoops. Save us, Tanjiro. These two are just turning such a, into such an awesome pair. So much chemistry, like unspoken chemistry. So much for unspoken chemistry. <laughs> now put on this rabbit costume and follow, follow me around. It's actually amazing that he can do that. 
It's Attack on Titan, if Attack on Titan was a train. Yeah, it's like the female Titan. Guarding its deck. If the female Titan was a train, and not Mikasa. <laughs> well, they both studied the breathing, right? They both did the gourd thing. There he is. Well, Tantra can get out of this, but I don't know about Inuske. Oh, there you go. The instructions. Right, right. <laughs> I wonder if it hurts in the dream to do this. I mean, they're sort of everywhere. How can you avoid them? That's tough. Nope, nope, that's not. Nope. I'm imagining this all happening in like the span of seconds, because the dreams don't happen in real time. Oh no! Whoa! That was holy sh crap! That was actually genius on his part. Imagine if he went out like that. I love how Inuski was the one to snip that out too. Is that what it is? It's a mountain god. Ah, uh, because of the mask. What is your problem, dude? Why are they all ice picks? <gasps> oh, good thing it was just an ice pick. We gotta help him. Ah, <gasps> uh, Tanjiro. <laughs> Why are they just so cool together? It's amazing. Right, back to the breathing. All comes back to the breath. I love them together, but I feel like they're building all these, like, team points. Whereas Zenitsu gets none. <laughs> this reminds me of uh, the first My Hero Academia movie. <laughs> Here we are, synchronized. He's pulling out the fire. Nice! That's gonna be the thumbnail right there, I think. Part of it. Rango go holding it down inside. Looks like we're not getting to Mugen. Oh, that's it? Damn, that was some amazing action. That was some of the best in the show so far, I think. I keep saying it, but there's something so amazingly satisfying about watching Tanjiro and Inuscape fight back to get back. They don't have a lot of, like, intense interpersonal dialogue or anything like that, but they're just so in sync. Like, they sort of get each other. They have all the, the key things that they need to be a productive team that doesn't have a lot of obstacles. They're sort of perfect for each other, complement each other. Basically, everyone got to shine in this episode, even Nezuko and Zenitsu. And it felt really good being this coordinated attack, strategized and led by Rengoku. As this figure we can lean on and trust, it's just really well conceived. Them being on a train and having the train be the enemy is way cooler than it might sound, <laughs> you know? There's something really unique and special about it. Skit. Back to the sadness. This is melancholy, melancholy train again. Fun fact, I am sad. Oh no, they give her mob psycho ball chins. No thanks. Chin. <laughs> ball chin. Yeah, that's the worst of all the dreams we've had so far. <laughs> yeah, notice where he's most bothered. Yes. Oh, a, a butt is another thing it could be, yeah. Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> Speaking of nightmares. I guess we're sort of coming to the end here. This arc is just flying by. I think we only have two episodes left. They really pack a lot into this short arc. I think they haven't gone inward, especially for Tanjiro and Rengoku. Although I'm looking forward to seeing a little bit more of the latter, which I feel will come up, makes the action that follows it all the more meaningful and special. Tanjiro sort of having to deal with massive issues he's been putting off mid-battle and emerging victorious through wits and emotional strength and also his bonds gives the fighting that extra power. And adding to that, the fact that they're fighting together, like I said, makes it really satisfying. It's like the Rui episode, but throughout, you know what I mean? And making it even more satisfying is the fact that it's not just Tanjiro, it's, it's all of them really shining. It's sort of a spectacular episode.